Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, let's do this problem right here. The question is asking whether this series converges or diverges. Let's see how we can use the integral test to evaluate whether it converges or diverges. So in order to do the integral test, first of all, we have to know whether this value is positive and decreasing. So in order to use integral test, it has to be positive and decreasing. So we have to test that's from that one first, then we can apply the integral test. So first we have to know whether it is positive. So let's play, like write this one as an integral and see what we get right. So let's write this series as an integral. So this is going from going from one to infinity. Instead of n, I plug uh, x. So x over x square plus one, right? Since this is going from one to infinity, right? This this value is going to be positive numbers. Like for example, if you plug two, two square plus one, that's a positive number, and and in the top also numerator also going to be positive. So positive divided by positive is always going to be positive. So we can for conclude that this is going to be positive. Posit it's a positive integral, right? So this is positive. So we conclude that one. Now we have to make sure this is decreasing. To find the, this whether it is decreasing, uh, you can just uh, intuitively say like one over this x, this value is going to keep increasing, right? As we go approaches infinity, one to infinity. But uh, to make sure that one, we can take the first derivative test. For example, if I take f of x as f of uh, x as x over x square plus one, and take the de find the derivative for this one. So what we what we get? So let's see how we can do this. It's, this is going to be a quotient rule because we are dividing these two. So we just have to square the denominator x square plus one square. And in the numerator, we are going to have this uh, derivative of this one. That's just one times the denominator. So x square plus one, then x times the derivative of the denominator. That's going to be just a two x, right? Yes, two x. And let's simplify this one. So if you simplify this one, so this is derivative of prime x. If you simplify this one, this is just going to be x square plus 1, and the other side we have minus 2x square, right? So x square minus 2x square, that's just going to be minus x square, so 1 minus x square. So x square plus 1 square, we can simplify this one as minus um, 1 minus x square over x square plus 1 whole square. Now what we had to do, we had to find the critical points to find the increasing and decreasing interval. So to find the critical points, what we do, first of all, we look at the values, x values, whether we have any x value that will make this, uh, make this one undefined. And between one and infinity, we do, like, if you plug any number, the, nothing is going to make this one undefined. For example, if it's just x minus like if the denominator is zero that's going to make it undefined but we don't have any situation that makes the denominator undefined i mean denominator is zero so we don't have anything undefined so that so we don't have that kind of critical points but to find the another way there are two ways like first undefined f prime x is equal to undefined and f prime x is equal to zero so the second condition we have to equate the derivative to zero to find the x values. So here what we have to do, we just take this 1 minus x square over x square plus 1 square and equate this one to 0. And if you see, if I bring the denominator to the other side, that's going to make this one also 0. So we just have to find 1 minus x square is equal to 0 and x value during that one. So x is going to be, so from this one x square is going to be 1, therefore x is equal to positive or negative 1. So that's going to be the critical points. But here we don't care about the negative one because the interval is going from 1 to infinity. So we just have to worry about what happens after 1. And whether it is a negative number or positive number, if you plug in the, um, I mean, what is the derivative? If you plug that, 
value above one is it positive or negative so that's what we have to think about so let's take the interval one to infinity and let's plug value it like two if you plug two in this uh, derivative this is going to be two square like four one minus four that's going to be a negative number denominator is always going to be positive because it's a square so we know that anything above one is going to be a negative number so we know that this function is decreasing so we know this is positive and decreasing therefore we can go ahead and use the integral test so then now we start the integral test first we have to prove this one positive and increase decreasing and then we do the integral test now to do the integral test uh, what you have to do is just take the limit like limit so here instead of writing this infinity we for an improper integral we take uh, t approaches infinity t approaches infinity and then put the t instead of infinity so this is going to be 1 to t then we do the integration so we take the same function x over x square plus 1 and do the integration and if you notice we have the uh, derivative on top so we have the derivative of denominator on top so we can do the u substitution right here so I pick up u as x square plus 1 so the derivative is going to be just 2x dq is going to be uh, 2x dx dx this is dx right here dx right so 2x dx but in the we here we have only x dx so we have to make this dq in terms of x dx because we, we are going to substitute this value so we can take d u by 2 is equal to x dx now we can go ahead and write everything in terms of u right so if I write everything in terms of u this is going to be integral integral instead of x dx I plug this d, d u by 2 so I can take the 1 over 2 to the front since it's a constant I can take this one and then instead of x square plus 1 I just plug 1 over u and we know that uh, if we integrate 1 over u that's going to be ln u so this is going to be uh, 1 over 2 ln instead of u I go ahead and plug x square plus 1 right so this is going to be 1 over 2 ln x square plus 1 going from 1 to t right now all you have to do is just plug the t and 1 so let's go ahead and plug it so this is going to be half long t square plus 1 minus long 1 square plus 1 so this is just going to be 2 right so we have long t square plus 1 long 2 now we have to take the limit limit t approaches infinity I take the half to the front so here we have ln t square plus 1 minus ln 2 what happens if I plug infinity for this t ln infinity that's going to be an infinity right so this value is going to be infinity infinity so infinity minus ln 2 doesn't change anything it's also st it's still going to be infinity since we get, get to infinity we know this is a divergent because in order to be convergent we have to get a finite number here we are getting infinity so we know that this integral improper integrals is uh, divergent so we can go ahead and say th therefore this series also a uh, divergent so that's how we do these kind of problems i hope you guys find this video helpful see you next time